Rob McBride, Director of Marketing at Versa Networks. In a previous series, we actually went through to actually explain to you what is software-defined WAN or SD-WAN. And so today, I'm going to actually walk you through why you actually may want to actually deploy software-defined WAN. Now, there's really a lot of reasons why any one business may look at SD-WAN as for an answer to a lot of their existing WAN and branch problems. But I'm going to really only try and focus on one specific point, and we're going to actually build it from there. So, why do you want it? Well, first, based off of everything that you're doing from a digital transformation or different types of application or cloud adoption, you're faced with one problem. You need more bandwidth, but it's actually costing you too much money. So, how do you solve that problem? Well, if you look at your traditional architecture, which we've drawn, you have your branch, which is connected to your MPLS transport, to your data center, to your internet, to your various different clouds. As we all know, this provides a trombone effect as it relates to how connectivity goes up and comes back. So how do you solve for this? Well, the first thing you do is you bring in the internet directly into the branch. What this then provides for you is obviously increased bandwidth on a per site basis. However, you start having other challenges and issues or as you begin to evolve in your requirements. Providing direct internet access over to the branch provides you additional bandwidth. And now, utilizing destination routing, you're actually moving worldwide web traffic to your internet access link and you're driving corporate traffic across your MPLS um, transport. You then begin to evolve. You want to move beyond destination-based routing to be actually using policy-based routing. You realize you can begin to move from non-mission business critical traffic and move them from MPLS and potentially utilize internets. That's where policy-based routing comes into play. But then it becomes a little bit too complex based on the number of devices you have, the number of times you have to actually touch, the lines of configuration you actually have to change on a per site basis. So why do you want SD-WAN? Well, because it makes it simpler. The first thing it does, obviously, as we covered before, is it gives you a common encrypted network. And this common encrypted network is, let me change my colors for you, is an intent based application routing architecture. What does that mean? It means that it's intelligent about the actual applications being utilized across this, across this common encrypted network and is able to actually look at the behavior and the quality of the individual agnostic transports within the common encrypted network and provide the best case or best quality of experience and the best path for any application that traverses it. The example of that being, we have a user here who wants to access Office 365. Its primary access may be internet, but we can recognize the internet may be suffering from quality issues, uh, maybe having high latency, dropping of packets. In the previous world, manual intervention was required in order to move that traffic from internet to MPLS. But across this common network, utilizing an intent-based application routing infrastructure, this is automated. Simplifying and reducing the amount of complexity that you have in order to ensure you have the best possible application experience for all of your users.